a 30 day challenge of every single day, live streaming content, live streaming about my crystals and jokes and all this other stuff. This is kind of like the place where you go to when you want to not think about what's going on, rather just kind of like just hang out and chill. I read cards. I talk about my crystal of the day. I come up with little things, just talking to people. So um, thank you so much for being on here with me as we just talk about the normal stuff that I normally talk about. The crystal deck of the day is the crystal medicine oracle. And I think I use this oracle cards at least a couple times a week. I only have like 10 decks and I'm doing 30 days of <laughs> life. So I only have 10 decks. So we just have to keep rotating decks. And sometimes I'm not always filling the decks that are up. So thanks so much for joining me. Um, we are on our 32nd day, for me at least, my 32nd day of quarantining, um, being a self-distancing, physical distancing, whatever you do it. I am doing it with my soulmate, which is very interesting. Um, I've never been able to spend so much time with a mate before as I am with him, and it's been good. He's fun. He's a really nice man, and it makes it easy to be quarantining with someone that I like. So that's important. <laughs> so, and if you're quarantining right now with someone you don't really quite like, that's okay too. Um, I do use crystals for healing. And one of the crystals that, um, the crystal of the day is a Dalmatian crystal. This Dalmatian, it looks like a Dalmatian dog, I think. There's, there's multi-spotted, kind of looks like a Dalmatian. So with this crystal, it's meant for friendship and um, it helps with a lot of different things. It helps heal relationships. It helps heal the barriers that you may have up towards not wanting to spend too much time with other people. It also helps dispel nightmares if that's what you're going through. I know um, a couple people, when I go through Facebook, I see that they are not able to sleep. And I think that may be like a collective consciousness thing where people are really moving through something. This helps get you um, back in a rhythm. It's a grounding crystal and it helps you to embrace like um, friendship and determination. It keeps popping out of my hand for some reason. So it really wants to be on camera. <laughs> That's a Dalmatian crystal. That's a crystal of the day. And then the question of the day is scrolled here on the Facebook live feed here. But it's like, um, if you wanna share with any of the viewers who are on here all the time, what different things you do to um, to like help other people, like um, describe your healthy habits, so to speak. Like what, what habits have you even gotten since you've been on quarantine that you didn't have before? So that's kind of like the question of the day. And people are gonna be reading this feed later, so feel free to share. But again, I'm Shannon Bobo, live. You can subscribe to my YouTube channel. I do live feed of um, crystal healing. And also it's fun too, cause it's, you know, I'm a comedian, so I do that too, but it's lots of comics. So it's like, you're just talking to yourself. I'm getting a sip of water cause my throat is hurt. Mm. And a crystal card oracle is the crystal medicine oracle card shamanism and i want to talk a little bit about my healthy habits like what i've been doing to stay healthy and fit through this whole thing i developed a whole new routine because before there's like before corona there's like during corona and there's like after corona my life before corona i could never figure out what was going to happen from day to day like it was all over the place like because i'm freelance so one day i could just be working in casting then another day i could be working some random freelance job i never heard because i like always like I've been on a hustle since 2007. I have not had a full-time job since 2007, but I do every single work I do depends on other people. So I'm um, not considered an essential worker apparently, even though I think comedy and standup is very helpful to a lot of people, but apparently we're not essential. So I'm going live on Instagram <laughs> and I'm doing that. So my life before Corona was just completely different. Like it just didn't look like this. So I had to develop a whole new system for the first time in my life, I'm actually taking care of myself and like looking after myself, like in a way that I've never done before. And that feels really, really good to be completely honest, because my whole life was about helping other people. So I wake up every single day and I do a meditation and I've been doing the artist way, which is kind of um, cool. Like I was doing an artist way before we went into quarantine. So um, now I'm able to. Um, 
kind of had, I had some, like a rhythm, something to look forward to, something I was already doing. And I don't know if you're aware of what Artist Way is, but it's a it's a 12 week program that helps you get back connected to your art, your true art. And to be honest, I never would have done something like have a Facebook stream live if this quarantine didn't happen. So there's a lot of jewels in all of this. Like I know it, it's like a lot of people can't wait to get to their regular life. Newsflash is not gonna be like it used to be. I know that for sure. And I'm happily able to admit that. But um, the healthy habits that I've developed now is I eat a lot healthier and just naturally I've just been kind of shedding a few pounds. Like not even, I like my body. I like me fit, I like me small, but um, I like this healthier lifestyle. I have more energy. I've been sleeping on a pretty regular basis, which is not a lot because I'm not a big sleeper. And I've been um, taking regular vitamins. I'm like, I don't recognize myself, but I like who who I'm deciding that I need to be. <laughs> so anyway, if you want to share your healthy habits, the viewers are watching later. We And I do repeat whatever it is you say. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, I do this every single day for the next, it seems the 17th, so I do it for 13 more days straight. Then I'm going to see how I'm going to, what it's going to look like after that. I don't know. If we're on quarantine right now, I may still have to um, do it Monday through Friday, but I don't know if it's going to be every single day. <laughs> um, yes. Thank you, Elliot. Nice to see you too. Oh, thank you. They're like, you're looking good. Thank you. I put on a little makeup for y'all. I don't want to just show up looking like a mess on here. Um, I've been very diligent about that. So anyway, the crystal of the day is the Dalmatian crystal. It's a really cool dope it looks like the Dalmatian puppy. I'm, I'm assuming it's a Dalmatian Jasper. And Jaspers usually are like for self-reflection. And this particular Dalmatian Jasper is absolutely for dispelling, um, like if you have bad dreams or anything like that, and to help build relationships. Like it's also for really, really good for fidelity. So um, if you're in a relationship with somebody who's being a little raggedy, <laughs> get a Dalmatian crystal. If there's no love loss, I think everything could work out. Like if you were in a relationship where the person was like a little cheaty cheat, <laughs> they were cheating on you, get a Dalmatian crystal if you think it's worth saving the relationship. Now, I've seen a lot of relationships revive after they um, were cheating or whatever, they didn't work out, but then they came back together because, you know, they realized that they were twin flames or soulmates and there's a difference between the twin flames and the soulmates too. I do have my crystal oracle cards today that I'm sharing with you. And again, if you guys want to share what healthy what healthy habits you're developing as a result of this quarantine, that'd be great. So that's my healthy habits um, is definitely meditation. Um, it's helped me deal with all those calls. I'm, I don't know if you're like me where you've had to like um, kind of have all these different conversations with different financial institutions because um, you just want to sort all your finances out. And they, they, some of them have been a little testy and you can tell they're testy because they're over flooded with calls. They're probably so over flooded. So um, just be patient with them. And I told the other day, I told this guy, I'm like, look, I said, you seem a little perturbed and I'm not about to do this. I don't need to talk to you right now. <laughs> so I'm calling back and I didn't make him wrong. I just said, look, I could tell you going through something right now, brother. I didn't even say that to him, but I thought that. I was like, oh, he is moving through something that does not have anything to do with me. So I'm getting off the phone with him right now. So as usual, I could read at least three or four cards today. And this is for my Crystal Medicine Oracle cards. A lot of people like these card decks because it's it just resonates. It's like, again, it's, it resonates with something that you may be growing through right now. Now, if it's something very heavy, I would I always recommend going to therapy or counseling. But like this, this doing this little work that I've been doing for quite some time has been very, very helpful to me. And it's been very helpful to people around me. Um, I do moon ceremonies. There's one, a new moon coming up next week on the 22nd, Wednesday, the 22nd. But um, yeah, so this is what this is what we're doing. So another healthy habit that I have is that I've been working out every single day. So I've been working out, um, I've been doing, I've been working with this woman named Jill Louise Penfold and she has like a, a six week program and I'm, I'm like, shoot, the six weeks is almost up soon. So I need to sort out something else. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, so anybody would like a card, just let me know. I am going to do a general card read for this feed right now. And it's today, April 17th, my 32nd day of quarantine. And um, so just want to share with you a little bit about card readings. 
No, it's usually, um, I usually do a, um, if it's like a quick, quick spread, I'll do like the previous, the not so previous life, the current situation, and then the future. So, um, but the card that just popped out for this entire feed is healer. So it's like, um, and the crystal is gnome night. Again, this is a crystal healing card deck and it's useful for just like, just helping you heal whatever it is you're going through. It's so funny, I just turned on the book and it went exactly to the correct page that it was meant to. So the, the card for the entire feed right now is called the healer card. It's a shaman card. It's like, you have called this card into your awareness today as a confirmation that you are the greatest healer and that healing is at hand. You have been a healer in many lifetimes and currently you are being invited to awaken to this power healing gift within you. Can you feel this truth, energy, and knowing deep within you? Do people naturally come to you for advice and feel comfort and presence? Have you ever been going through your own healing journey? Have you been asking the universe for confirmation of your life path? Do you have a natural way of, with animals and connection to the earth? I can answer yes to all those questions, me personally. <laughs> have you been wanting to venture out into healing arts? All of these are signs that you are a healer. All of these are signs that you are a healer. Um, and you and you have been searching for, and it's time to connect deeply and awaken its important aspect of your soul. This is a natural part of your progression and everything you have already been through and life has made you ready to give, ready to dive into your healing gifts. You are encouraged to find modality that inspires you, whether it is energy healing, natural medicine, social work, or some sort of body movement. It's time to awaken your healing arts. This is so, this card is so perfect because the one thing I always say is that we can heal ourselves. Like whenever, whenever I turn to someone and they're like, I'm going to help heal you. I'm like, mm, there's nothing that no one can do that you can't first start with yourself. So just know that you have the power to to heal yourself. You can really truly deep down inside, like get rooted and just know that you have the answers within. We've all been built and equipped with that and no one's more powerful than you. Um, I know I sound like, we all Jesus Christ. I know I sound like that sometimes when I talk, but I honestly believe that we're all, we're all our own like healers and it's all within, it's all within our heart. Um, there's a portion of us that can never be harmed and whenever you tap into that source, all of a sudden you can become healed. Like the minute that you can just truly tap into that. So even going through this right now, this, this thing called physical distancing, this thing called social distancing, it's like the most timely thing that could ever have happened because it, it forces each of us to turn within and to realize that there's more than just this. Like we have to come into the life where we're, gonna start be given into the we world versus the me world like instead of being all about me 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 it is it is absolutely time to do the we world i don't know how you guys feel about this but um just this morning i saw an article that said that all these influencers are losing all their sponsorships and i think that that's hands down like a lot of different Advertise like I'm not working. I work in advertising because I work in commercial casting. So everything is just kind of down. And I think rather than be upset about that or worried about that or concerned about that, I honestly believe that it is time, like no kidding. It is time to turn within and realize what we can do to have a we world, a more inclusive world. So instead of being an influencer, how about we switch gears instead of telling those kids not to be influencers anymore. How about if we just switch it around a little bit and make and um, and give those influencers a, an opportunity to make a better and greater impact on everybody and learn how to influence people to love more and to be a more, me be more about the we world versus the we world or the me world. So it's not all about you anymore. Like we're moving into that if we like it or not. <laughs> so I'm like, don't bash those kids, just redirect them. Cause those kids were powerful. They had a lot of people viewing what they were saying. Imagine if they used their platforms for good. Imagine if they used their platforms to um, tell people that, you know, there's more than enough, like go and help feed homeless people and not just pose and cute pictures in front of them. Or 
you know, like everything that they get for being an influencer, they contribute at least 20% to other causes. So, I mean, I, don't, in other words, don't bash the kids. Those kids have a good, that's where the, the future is going on. I love you too, Jeffrey. He's so sweet. He's like, I love you, Earth Angel. <laughs> the, um, we're definitely moving into the we world. So does anybody want a card? Again, today's conversation is about what type of healthy habits have you been developing since you've been in quarantine that you intend to use in your life far beyond being on um, quarantine? Like what healthy habits have you been developing? And I have time to read at least a few cards. So if anybody's interested in that, I know we have some few viewers that are always on um, if you would like a card, if you would like to contribute, if you think that one of your friends or family members can benefit from being on this feed, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And then also, um, just have them come visit and drop by. Tell them that I know a woman who's reading cards for people for nothing. <laughs> um, it's not for nothing. Like I get so much out of this. You have no idea. Like, first of all, I am exhausted after speaking for an hour in front of nothing. Like I know some comics, I, um, we have this opportunity to do some stand-up comedy and a very sanitized environment. But all the comics are like, nope, I need an audience. I can't do it without an audience. You see that? We need each other. Um, let's see. So the Daylon says that um been cooking more than ever and saving those, amen. That's a very, very, very healthy habit to have developed. Um, while me personally, I am absolutely looking forward to when I can go back to the restaurants and um, and have a little nice meal. Because I, I love the dining experience. But I got to tell you, I know exactly what I put in my food. I know exactly what the ingredients are. We've been making a lot of things from scratch around here. Um, last night, we had roasted fresh vegetables. And you know they were all fresh because um, we, we buy organic now. Because of my partner, he's like a super organic freak. So um, my soulmate who I'm quarantining with. And um, so everything's organic, everything's clean. We, we're clean eaters. And it was the most delicious, um, well-prepared roasted vegetables on top of a bed, bed of lettuce on top of that. So I'm like, I am super healthy right now. <laughs> like the digestive system was good. My whole body feels like, okay. And then between that and working out, it's been pretty, pretty freaking awesome. So the, would anybody like a car to have, um, as time is ticking down, we have like, I probably have time for at least two or three. Um, but yes, yeah, so that's what I've been up to personally. I've just been, um, staying focused, paying attention to, um, how I am and being, I would love one. Okay. Daylon. So we're going to give Daylon a card again. This is from the crystal Oracle deck. And, um, so whenever I'm pulling a card for someone, I always recommend you just really return to your, like your within, turn within and um, into your heart is what I mean. And if there's something that you've been thinking about um, that's like heavy on your heart or something that you're kind of moving through, just put all your attention on that for just a second and trust and know that um, it will be resolved no matter what. And just think and just always consider something that, um, that maybe you, that, that just will help you through this. Um, so let me just see what card comes out for you. So just put all your attention on that. Just Oh, she can't comment. That's interesting. Brenda is in my inbox. She says she's watching, but she's not able to comment. That's interesting. If Brenda, if you have anything, would you like a card as well? Brenda Burner is on too. So let's see what comes up for you, Daylon. I just want to see what kind of card shows up. So just, you know, just know that you can, I always say that uh, we're our own healers. Again, that first card that came up was saying that we're all healers. And I honestly believe that. So when, like I have my Reiki certificate and, and I know some, some Reiki healers and um, energetic alchemist healers, and they charge a lot for what they do. And that's beautiful that they're making money. But it's like, I like to consider that that type of work is something that just can come, ooh. So I don't know if you saw this, Daylon, but this card just par popped up. It's called, um, first of all, the pyrite is the crystal that showed up for you. And I have a pyrite right here just so you can see what it looks like. I have a pyrite in my purse. It's a money, a money crystal. So that's the card that came up for you today, Daylon. 
it's a money crystal for Facebook. There it is right there. Um, so the, it says pyrite set intention. So that's a crystal that came up for you, Daylon. All right, and it, um, intention. So it's like whatever intention that you have. So intention, you have called this card into your awareness to highlight the powerful energy of intention. You are the creator of your own world and destiny and can manifest your thoughts and heart's desires by working with the power of intention. By setting an intention, you are planting a seed and creating a foundation for the energy of this intention to ground and manifest into your life. Without intention, there will be nowhere for the creative energy to attach and move into form. Have you been feeling a little off track and unsure of your intention? Is your energy scattered and your concentration on tasks lacking? Has your mind been focused on intentions that you may not like to create? Whatever it is for you, know that currently it's important to become aware of your intentions. The answer to your prayers right now is hidden in your intentions. Take some time to find clarity around your intentions and then dig deep and to see if your current intentions have been aligning with your higher truths. Intention is a blueprint for energy to align itself before it can be manifested. If the intention is not clear, then the manifestation can be disrupted and not expressed into its pure form. Make sure your intentions align with your truths and heart desires, and you will find yourself in a flow and things will come to you without effort. Your intentions create your reality. So choose wisely. I believe that it is so important, muy, muy, muy important for you to know and trust and understand that your sole purpose makes you successful. I think I recently had someone confirm that for me on this meditation call that I do every single day. They were just like, you know, cause we've been conditioned to believe that success equals you won an Oscar or you got, you did that. Now those things are all great. You got the big house, you got the big car, you go wherever you want, you can eat whatever you want, eat at every restaurant, more money in the bank than ever imagined. But without all of that, like you're, it, unless you're living your purpose, that's where true success is. So looking within, like turning within and seeing if what you're doing and what you're up to is aligning with your soul purpose. Like, is it aligning with your, what your heart's desires are? And if, when you go into the direction of your heart's desires, it's like, you become unstoppable. Like for me, it is absolutely, I know, like I've, I've never, I always feel the most aligned whenever I'm communing with people in this way, like whenever I'm able to just talk to people and just, and just be able to tell them that you have the power within to do whatever it is that makes you feel good. Like you have that power within. Now I always preface it by saying, don't hurt the babies and don't hurt animals. <laughs> like don't do that. Don't hurt each other. But if your heart's desire is to make a better world and create a better situation from everybody, then, um, then that's a beautiful thing. And then um, Daylon so says, that's good. Thank you. I'm trusting the stillness. Yes. Trust in the stillness. Turn within and see, like, just see if what you're up to is aligning to what your purpose is. And if it, if it doesn't feel right, don't do it anymore. That's simple. And that's the coolest part ever is that you could just like switch gears. Okay. This doesn't work for me anymore. I'm going to switch gears. So hopefully that helps you. And um, so if, if anybody else would like a card, let's do some more cards. I have time for a few more. Uh, again, I do this show for an hour. Usually I don't go over 60 minutes, but I usually pull a few cards. And we talk a little bit. We talk about my crystal of the day because many of you don't know all these different crystals that I have. You know all the basics. I went to the basics the first week, but this is a Dalmatian crystal and a Dalmatian crystal again um, it helps with fidelity. It helps with, um, it helps dispel any nightmares that you have. And I think I got it at the time. Oh my God. I used to date so many raggedy men. <laughs> and I was looking, these crystals ended up helping me in the best way possible though. Cause they helped me with my life. And it's like, I'm not even sure some of them are scientifically proven to help, 
but um, many of them, th that's what they represent. So I like having them around me. It's like the collective consciousness of knowing that this is a grounding stone that is protective and it also helps with fidelity. And I think at the time I got it so because I wanted my cheating, my cheating boyfriend at the time not to cheat on me anymore. <laughs> but <laughs> and he still cheated. He still was cheating on me, and he's he's with his ex girlfriend again. I think it's that's hilarious. I was like. So if anything, the stone did protect me because it brought his raggedy ass back to his ex-girlfriend. That was perfect. See how that works? It works. <laughs> so, um, but anyway, I, I believe that these crystals help people believe in all sorts of things. I believe in the power of tequila sometimes. And I also believe in the power of my crystals. A sense of joy, um, it brings a sense of joy, fidelity. Um, and it also helps just, just helping things create around yourself and it creates positivity. That's what most of these crystals do. It's like the opposite of whatever it is that you're feeling through. Um, <laughs> Cause Shauna's like, I hate raggedy ass bitches. Yes, that's right. I've had some, <laughs> I've had some experiences y'all. I had some fun experiences with men. And I think that's what brought me, you know, um, to this part of my life where I'm like, I mean, I've always been tapped in, ask anybody. I was like one of those, I grew up on the south side of Chicago. I grew up in a hood, but nobody messed with me. And you can ask anybody who knew me back then. I was too wild. I was too free. They were like, and I was a little, I had like a pet fly and shit. Like I was a weird little girl. And I think everybody was just like, yeah, we're just gonna leave that alone. Ain't nobody mess with her. Nobody messed with me. And if they did, I had to beat their ass too. So <laughs> I did have a couple of fights and I, I won. <laughs> um, Cause I'm, just don't mess with me. I'm like, mm, don't mess with me. But so I do have a few minutes for a few more cards. Hey, Amir. Um, uh, that's so funny. There's a really funny comedian on here. And comedians just, I mean, comedians help us so much through times like this. And it's so important um, to listen, to laugh. I've been watching Dave Chappelle a lot. And Dave Chappelle is so funny. He's like a good interpreter. He's like the town crier. And he's able to say, y'all braggity, this is just crazy. <laughs> so anyway, does anybody want a card in the deck? Says, I like your laugh. Thank you. Hey, Jill. Hey, Jill. Jill, I have your favorite card deck. You didn't say this was your favorite card deck, but I'm calling it your favorite card deck. Because every time I pull from this card for you, it's always the most perfect cards. So I do have time for a few more cards because um, I'm, I'm on for about 30 more minutes. I do this every single day, Monday through this day or whatever that day is. You know, we're on, we're on that portion of this quarantine where I'm like, what's today? I don't even know what day it is right now. <laughs> I'm just drinking my celery juice. Anyway, the question of the day is what are you doing to stay healthy? Like what healthy habits are you doing right now that you'll probably carry on with you for after the quarantine is over? Because we all know there's like before Corona, life during Corona, that's where we're at now. And then life after Corona. So it's, it's like right now, it's a beautiful time for us all to reset. The earth is resetting. Can you tell me why my ex disappeared without a trace? <laughs> Good question. So I could I could tell you, first of all, let me just see what kind of card pops up. So I'm, you didn't ask for a card in the dash, but I'm going to give you a card. Um, I would say you. At the, it's hard to see. It's hard to... Um, it's hard to, your question went away, but I'm still gonna answer it. But it's, it's hard to, um, it's hard to determine why people do what they do. But I could just tell, I'm, I always know that we're always protected. We are always protected. And, um, and in fact, next week on April 23rd, I work with this organization called PAVE. It's Promoting Awareness, Victim Empowerment. PAVE, Promoting Awareness, Victim Empowerment. and. This month, April, is um, National Sexual Assault Awareness Month. And um, so just imagine during this quarantine, some people are either living with their abusers or they're like, they can't really kind of get away from certain people. It's awful. Like, can you imagine that, living with your abuser? And this is also a time that's incredibly triggering for a lot of people. So while I've been um, in quarantine, I've still been doing my best to volunteer with the various organizations that I'm working with. And we're doing um, a hashtag called alone, but not alone. So there's a lot of people who are quarantined and alone. And there's a lot of people who are quarantining with people that makes them feel alone. Um, and Brenda wants a card as well. So I'm doing a card for Nadege. 
I'm doing a card for Brenda. Now, if it's more of a personalized reading, because I don't like to put, I don't like to talk, talk to people about certain things like that. And so it, it, you can always DM me and we can talk that way. But um, next week on April 23rd, I'm going to ask you guys to tag a picture with your friends or people in your life that makes you not feel alone. So, and, and just, and just, I'll send you like a little thing that you could put under it, but we're trying to make this go viral. Um, it's called hashtag alone, but not alone. Cause again, um, imagine quarantining. Um, and some of you out there that are watching right now, may be quarantining with someone who makes you feel alone or you may feel alone in your environment or wherever you are. So I do have a card for Nadesh coming up and then I have Brenda and then I have Jazica. So Nadesh, the card that came forward for you, I don't know if you're even still on here, but the card that came up for you, Nadesh, is moving forward. And as Seraphonite, I have actually have her Seraphonite. That was going to be one of my crystals in the future. It's not Andy's, so I can't um, show you right now. But that's the crystal, that's the crystal card that just showed up for you. It's called moving forward. So the question that you asked earlier, um, and a few ladies are asking, that card is perfect for. Um, it's inviting you and encouraging you to move forward um, towards whatever it is that you ultimately would like to have happen and away from things that are that no longer serve you or just look at it as a gift that this person is gone. That's the way I look at it. You have pulled this card today as a confirmation that it is time, that it is a time of moving forward. In life, we move to, through certain cycles that call upon a range of different energies and aspects. You are currently in a phase of action and moving forward. This absolutely answers that question you had before. Moving forward, thinking in terms of like just going through and just moving through. When we align and tune into these powerful energies that are available to us, we receive a depth of knowing, clarity, and confirmation on what action to take in life. Have you been confused about moving on from something in your life, such as a relationship or a job in which you are unhappy? Are you feeling stuck and praying for a sign of what to do? Have you asked for confirmation on making a decision? Well, this energy has come through as a sign. It's time to move forward and do not look back. I don't know if Nadesh is still on here, but that's perfect. Um, uh, don't look back. It's an important time of action. The universe is supporting you to let go and move out of the old to make room for the new. This is all about moving away from things. It's a waning moon cycle. It is a perfect time to release and let go of any raggedy ass person in your life that doesn't deserve your time or your energy, period. <laughs> the old path is now dissolved and new doors have opened. Do what it takes to make this change in your life and know that it is your soul guiding you along your path. Now, I love Seraphonite. It's a, it's a, it, it helps with new opportunities and makes better choices. And um, ironically, the Dalmatian crystal helps dispel against negative energy and it helps promote like fidelity and relationships where you are going to be honored and re relationships where you are going to feel free. And I'm telling you, my soulmate relationship arrived when I was like, fuck it dot com. I was like, I was so done with men when I before I met him. I didn't even care. Like I didn't. My dog had just died. I was down in my dumps. I was dating a man who was still in love with his ex and he was all over her, not even thinking about me. He didn't give a fuck about me. And he was just using me to make her jealous and it worked. And they ended up getting back together. It was awful. My dog, died. It, was, it was like a bloody season for me. And I'm, this was about two years ago, almost two years ago. And then I'll never forget the day that I met my soulmate. I walked right up to him because I no longer cared. I walked right up to him and said, buy me a drink. And he bought me a drink and the rest is history. <laughs> But I remember a few months before that, um, you know, I have some tips about that. And, I, and I'm probably going to, um, I'm telling you it works. I'm telling you, like, no kidding, it works. First of all, we have to know, like, we know, like, we know that we're deserving of someone who's going to treat us right. And the minute that we decide that for ourselves, there is no way we could tolerate any other bullshit. I'm telling you that. And I, I put my stamp on it, sign, so deliver. That's the way it works. Like the minute that you decide that that no longer works for you, people who um, people in your life can't help from friendships to relationships to even family members. They have to show up and they have to show up correct. Um, a few months and, and I, I don't mind sharing this as well. But I remember um, like really getting into the space of my heart. Now, when you're deciding this, it can't come from a space of anger. It just has to come up from. I honestly believe 
you have to find that place in your heart where you're just fucking done. Like, I'm like, I'm done. I'm not doing that anymore. We're not doing this. Like, I'd rather, I'd rather be single for the rest of my life than to put up with some bullshit. That's what I decided. And I was very clear on that. I was so clear. Like, nothing else mattered to me anymore. But I love companionship. Like, this quarantine for people like me is challenging. And I love being around people. I love hugs. I love connecting. I love being emotional with someone. I love all of that. So um, ironically, what I did was I wrote a letter to my, to my, who didn't even exist at the time, but I wrote a letter, heartfelt letter, straight from the heart for my one who is the one. And I'll explain that a little bit later. Um, I did it on my Kunzite. Kunzite crystal is the perfect crystal when you're looking for your soulmate. It's a perfect soulmate. So yeah, so today, um, the question of the day, feel free to keep answering that while the scroll is going through on Facebook Live and on Instagram as well. What are, what are some healthy habits that you're developing while you're going through this, um, while we're going through this time? Like what's some healthy habits that, that you've developed? And then um, also the Dalmatian crystal is the crystal of the day, which is right in alignment with these um, with the card reading that we just did. It's, it's called moving forward. Just keep moving, keep it moving. It's like, you know what? Buck up, just keep moving. Shine your shoes, dust yourself off, keep going. So Brenda was the second card that we're gonna get to Jessica card. And unfortunately, that's the only cards that I have for time for today. Um, every day I do card readings. Today I'm reading from the Crystal Medicine Oracle deck. Uh, me personally, my um, healthy habits is I meditate. That's the healthiest thing that I do is it's probably one of the first things I do. I do meditate with the meditation group. Um, it's called heart math meditation and it's, I love it. Like it's, it's so, I do other meditation techniques too throughout the day, but that card, that freaking meditation is so on point and I love it so much. So Brenda, let's pull out a card for you. Question of, yes, Jill. Perfect. Jill's like, what is Jill doing to develop healthy habits? She's on a um, Facebook feed. She says that she's sleeping. She's resting. That's the most beautiful thing. Guys, we don't have to solve AIDS. I don't know. All this pressure. When this thing first happened, all this I got all in my inbox, 30-day challenges, 50-day challenges, all these challenges. Eat healthy. I'm like, I just want to drink right now because my whole life is going to look different. I just wanted to drink, to be honest, guys. I wanted to drink and I wanted to have sex. Um, but you know, we, we got to get out of bed though. So I, I have gotten out of bed now, <laughs> but Brenda, your card. And I feel like this, this is a theme for you, but Brenda burner, who's on here, your card was, um, transformation. And I love the transformation card transformation. Again, I'm in the Oracle card deck. This card has come up quite a bit. Again, I have 44 cards in this deck and this card came up a couple of days ago for someone else. And again, I believe in co collective consciousness. And when cards keep showing up, it's like, it's a collective consciousness thing. This is a great time for, for just transformation. It's a, like a snake is like just getting rid of his skin. Like I, I physically watch the snake, just like how they just get rid of their skin and they become new. You're becoming new. This is a perfect time to just like turn within and just become anew and just not let things bug you the way it used to bug you. Just like, fuck it, fuck it. Just let it go, release and let it go. And I love that transformation card. That transfer in a sheen obsidian, usually not quite sure what a sheen obsidian looks like, but a black obsidian crystal is dope. It's, it's, uh, it's just a repels negative energy away from you. And, um, Again, it's a, this is a transformation for you. Hopefully, this resonates with more than just Brenda Burner. Um, you have drawn this card today to highlight you are currently in the process of a powerful, I believe we all are in the process of a powerful transformation. Um, the energy is available for you at this time to expand and awaken something in your life, which, so rest up. Like when you're transforming, it is completely okay to take a rest. Um, you're up leveling a new level of understanding, existence, and consciousness. And this is a greater, this is greater than all of us right now. All of us are experiencing this brand new transformation. We can't help but change after this shit. We have to. In these important times, life as you know it can be shaken up and you could be greatly challenged. Transformation is a huge part of personal growth and awakening, and it's not always comfortable. However, like, shoot, 
They said shit happens, shift happens. Like we are shifting towards a brand new earth. Like we're, we're entering into a new phase where we can no longer be what we used to be. We have to go into the we world. We heard that influencers are losing their, um, their little money, their little pockets. You know, they get all this free stuff and they get paid to tell people to go buy shit. Nobody can leave the house. So where are you telling people to go? So everything needs to shift and we need to go into a world that's more inclusive. That's going to help. What if we all choose to, to spread love right now? Anyway, have you ever felt a deep stirring in your soul and that thing doesn't seem the same? Have you been guided to look at old patterns and beliefs that are no longer serving you? Are the ways you used to do things not working for you anymore? That is absolutely a sign, Brenda, that it is time to allow the shift to happen. Allow that snake skin. This car showed up last week for someone and it was the most perfect time. And just know that you're protected. Know that you're safe. Know that this is the perfect environment for shifting and change. I tell people, you, this is everybody's glow up. Choose, your, choose this time to be your glow up. Like show up with a brand new perspective. You know, um, it can't exist the way it is. Know that we're protected. Know that we're safe. We're, we got to be in a we world. So it's like any strife or struggle that you're feeling, just know that it's going to be taken care of. It has to be. You know what I mean? So if that resonates with you, Brenda, put that on like a brand new pair of shoes that are comfortable as hell and, and walk that bitch. Walk it out. <laughs> So yeah, exactly, Joe. Shift is happening. If we like it or not, shift is happening. It's going down. We're moving into the we world where we have to connect with our heart. And I I mean, oh my God, it couldn't have happened in the most perfect way, in a more perfect way than when um, someone told me that the real true definition of success is when you're living your dreams awake, when you're like when, when you're living your soul purpose, imagine uh, if more people live their soul purpose, it'll be so many happy people walking around unless your soul purpose is to hurt other people. Now that's, that, that can't exist in our new world. <laughs> Brenda just said, she's walking that bitch, that, that car, she's in my inbox right now. She said that car resonated with her. She is wearing that shift is happening for Brenda. And I hope that car resonated with more than one person because like, this is the perfect time to choose transformation. And it's like, you know, walking up to people, meeting new people and be like, no, this is a brand new bitch. You, you don't know me like you know me. And it's so funny. Sometimes when somebody relates to me of how I used to be, I'm like, you know what? I ain't even mad at you because that's, that's right. I was like that. <laughs> I used to be raggedy. I used to be so raggedy. <laughs> Paul Morris. I love you, Paul. SS. What's up, SS in the house? I love him. Um, yeah, so... Whenever anybody relates to me to how I used to be, because I used to be, to be honest, I, I was kind of, I had a little attitude when I used to work in casting. I was a little bitch. I was like, because mm, I wasn't living my purpose. And the minute that I realized that I wasn't living my purpose, my whole attitude changed. And, and I, also I was in a bunch of raggedy ass relationships. And I keep telling everybody, I'm like, you're, everything you post about, you're bringing about. Those are vision boards. Because I, I look at my history, I'm trying to say, this time five years ago, I was like bitching about raggedy bitches. I was doing all types of things. And what was in my life? Raggedy bitches, raggedy men. And you know, and the minute that you change your tune, it, it can help but shape up and, and like just, and really be, come from a heart. Please. And sometimes you gotta fake it till you make it. I've done that too. I'm like, you know what? I don't even know if I believe this, but I'm gonna keep saying it until, until I do believe it. <laughs> so Jessica is the last card that we have time for today. So Jessica, again, Whatever is on your heart, just put your focus and attention on that for a second. And again, I don't have cards for everybody today, but I'm here Monday through Friday, or every day, <laughs> through at least through April. So Jazzica, um, there's something on your heart, just think about it. And hopefully, maybe this card will resonate with more than just Jazzica, because it's, it's collectively, a lot of us are moving through a lot of stuff. Remember a couple of weeks ago, during my moon ceremony, um, you know, we, we have this little portion where people can kind of share a little bit. And almost every single woman, they were just like, first they were shy about sharing. Then they were like, oh my God, I wrote that down too. Everybody wrote down how they self-sabotage, how things are going well. And then they all of a sudden sabotage it somehow. I'm like, she, they said, how do we all write that down? I'm like, because it's collective, collective consciousness. You know, just like um, naturally and it's scientifically proven when women are in the same environment together, all of a sudden they get their periods at the same time. See, it's science. We are all connected, guys. We are the ocean. 
you each one of us are just one little drop of the ocean. And guess what? That one little drop of the ocean is the reason why we're in a quarantine. <laughs> one that you see how fast that stuff spread. We're so sensitive. Anyway, which is a beautiful thing. So Jessica, let's see what card card pops up for you. Um, and it is um self-expression. See, Jessica, that seems to be a theme for you as well, where um, certain things just keep popping up for you. Um, th th this is a time of your life, without me even reading more into it than this, girl, this is a time of your life where you're meant to just freaking be fully self-expressed. Um, I do know a few people that are on this feed, so I can gather some information from what I know about you. Um, this is a time of your life where you're a young woman it is it is absolutely time for you to express yourself. Is there if there's something that's been calling that's been in your heart that's calling you to do something, you gotta do it. You gotta go for it. You gotta just trust yourself and just go for it. Um and the Laramar, I love the Laramar crystal. It's like this little gray crystal if I don't from but my recollection is right. Um this is calling you to be um like just to fully self-express. And also you need to drink a lot of water. I don't know why I feel called to tell you that, but drink a lot of water, Jessica. Um, you have attracted this card into your awareness today as it is important time for self-expression, a time to communicate your thoughts and feelings and anything else you may have been suppressing. When you allow for flow and your self-expression, life has a way of feeling effortless and as though you are riding the wave of your soul. There are times when we feel the need to hold back and not share or express certain things as we don't wish to hurt other people's feelings and put ourselves at risk of rejection and conflict. This is the time of fuckit.com. Girl, express yourself truly, truly, all the way all around. This will only create, okay. If you, if you restrict, if you stop yourself from expressing yourself, this will only create blocks and imbalance and possibly give rise to feelings of not worthy or good enough. Have you been holding back due to feeling rejected? Do you feel like you need to get something off your chest? Have you been getting issues around your throat? If you, whenever there's issues around your throat, that means it's time for you to express. And you could wear like a third, um, let's see, that would be the, um, the blue chakra, like anything, like any crystal that will help you um, speak, speak your, your throat chakra, like it's time for you to speak up. It's time to put yourself first and express what it requires and um, let go of sta stagnant and stale energy. You're being encour encouraged to deeply express your feelings and honor your time, your needs at this time. Tune into what you need to say and be sure to share it from a place of truth and integrity. And whenever you're um, reaching into your heart, and really like allowing yourself to um, express yourself straight from your heart, it cannot be denied. It cannot be denied. If you're speaking from your heart and you're not saying anything that's offending anyone and you're just being true true to your what's going on in your heart, ain't nobody gonna be mad at you. It's like, oh yeah, I get it. You know, like I, I'm using the example because I try not to go too personal because my, my man is real personal and I'm not, so I'm trying to respect his boundaries there. <laughs> But I can share with you how when I was on the phone the other day, um, dealing with some with the financial institution, and the guy was being like really colorful with me, and I was like he wasn't listening to me, and he was like cutting me off and then saying whatever. The, I was like, look, I said we're having two different conversations, and this isn't working for me. So we're gonna go ahead and um, you seem really perturbed, and you're you know I just don't feel heard. So I'm just gonna remove myself from the situation, and then that was it. Like, and then he. He actually got sweeter towards the end of the call. I know he was like, you know what? Shit, I was being a dick. He was being a giant dick. He was being a dickhead. Anyway, um, drop into your heart and connect to the flow of your own energy and let go of what no longer serves. This is a perfect time to do that. This is a waning portion of the moon where it's good to just release and let go. Um, I use moon phases to do my little let go. You can let go anytime. Like somebody, somebody once told me, they're like, Wait, so if I need to let go of something, I got to wait until a waning moon. I said, like, no, no, let go of it whenever it does it. Um, oh, my mother, my mom is on here. I love that my mommy is on here. She's watching. <laughs> I got to have her on as a guest. She's perfect. Um, I love her so much. She said, I love your great expression of self. Yes. Be fully self-expressed, Jessica. That, 
Jessica's had a couple of readings. Sorry for calling her out right now. I'm calling you out. Town Choir calling Jessica out. Calling you out, girl. Calling you out. It is time. It is time, like no kidding, for you to allow yourself to be fully self-expressed. Like in your full, and she's a young mommy too, be fully self-expressed. Like allow your, if there's, your yearning is your calling. If there's something that's calling you to do it, even for now, if you have to do it on a part-time level, do it. It's You're being called to show up right now for yourself. And by showing, she has a daughter, by showing up for yourself, you're showing up for your little girl. And that's going to encourage her to always know that she can show up for herself as well. How we doing? I see Howie on here. Thanks so much for being on here. So again, I want to turn it back to you guys, um, the viewers, because this actually helps a lot of people. Um, in what way, I gotta charge my computer because it's gonna die before, hopefully it doesn't die. I should have been more prepared, but you guys forgive me. Eh. It's a work in progress. And I'm my own studio manager. I'm the producer. I gotta do everything. That's okay. One day one day we'll have a budget. We could do a little bit more. Um, I'm doing so good. So today, if you see the scroll, if you're doing, if you see the scroll, Howie, I would love for you to say, what type of um, healthy habits have you developed since this, um, since the start of the quarantine that you plan to use forever? That's different than what you normally do and that you plan on um, using well after, after Corona. So if anybody would like to share that, um, Howie, I'm asking you specifically too, but um, just any, cause I, I, I respect him and I, I respect all the guys too, but I, I love him so much. Is that bad? <laughs> That's the way I feel. And mom, mostly too, if you could please share what healthy habits have you been developing since um, we've been in quarantine that you intend to use forever. Now, these are people that I love and admire and respect. When a quarantine is over and you're in Los Angeles, Ma Mosley is one of my special guides. I love her so much. She's very important, very special to me. She's the first woman who taught me how to be a woman. Like in a in a real way, like very and not to be afraid to be who I am, um, self ex fully self expressed. She a hundred percent. It hadn't always been encouraged. There's been times where I felt kind of um, like wing clippers. There's a lot of in this city. There are a lot of wing clippers. She was the first woman woman that watered helped me water my flower and helped me grow and be fully self expressed. Like be the sunflower that I am. You know, because the sun, the sunflowers like go towards the sun to shine. That's how she was for me. She said, like, girl, no, shine. Let's spread those wings, shine. So um, I encourage, especially, I love encouraging young women. I'm going to do that for the rest of my life because she she's now my LA mom um, for the rest of my life. There's a lot of young women on this feed right now. And um, I'm going to be that person to always encourage you to spread, like to just really be self-expressed and like, you don't mean you have to shut anybody down. Like some of the women's movement is, is like cutting off balls. Don't cut. I, I love balls. I love men's balls. Let's not cut them off, guys. <laughs> I love men. <laughs> That's not, you can do it in a way that can still honor men and then being self-honoring as well. We don't, that don't mean we cut men down now. Um, so Howie, thank you so much for sharing. He said that he exercises every day and now meditates. That's how I met him. I met him on our meditation call. Um, which is amazing and it's very special. It's very sweet and special. He has a morning routine and getting up earlier. Um, you know, I was so, this is the first time in, in, I don't know, in my adult life since, at least since, no, not my adult life, I would say since 2007, where I have an actual routine every single day. I didn't have one before. My days were all over the place because I'm freelance. So I don't know, like, it's so weird having this life now where I don't know what I'm doing next day. My life before was very similar to that, but um, some days I would work like from 7 a.m. till 12 p.m. Or, or excuse me, 12 a.m. And then the next day or next few days, I wouldn't work at all. So I was like, ah, I was all over the place. Now I've like developed healthy habits of like very similar to Howie where I wake up at about the same time every morning. Um, I get a, drink of water, some tea. I meditate um, with a group. Thank God, this amazing meditation technique called heart math meditation. And I know in my heart that I'm living more from my heart. Because that call that I told you I got about earlier, I would have went off on him. I'm like, where's your manager? Like I would have done that. I would have 
Oh no, <laughs> like all of a sudden said, I need to speak to a manager right now. But this time I was just like, you know what? He's probably talking to so many people and they're probably not being the kindest to him. And I'm just going to catch him a break and say, look, I know, I don't know what you're going through, but I'm not going there with you. So I'm going to remove myself from you and I'm going to go and talk to someone else who's going to listen to me um, and really hear me. And right now you don't have a listening for me anyway. So, and then, but healthy habits, we have um, celery. My soulmate makes me a little celery drink every day, which is really good. And, and I drink plenty of water. I, I could drink, I could always drink more water. Um, and then eating really natural, healthy, organic foods is very helpful. So that's pretty much it. Like that's, that's what you got to do. Like just developing those healthy habits that um, can mirror when we're done with this. I don't, I have no idea what it's going to look like, but I could tell you for sure we're moving into the we world. We all have to be about we, we see how, what one person affects all of us now for the first time. And then once we discover that there's no turning back, we can't, we can't go back to where it used to be because we, we just have to be different and we'll remember this for the rest of our lives. So that's pretty much it. Every single day I um, do this call at noon. Um, every day at noon, I read cards. Today's cards was from the crystal medicine Oracle. My man knows me so much. He got me this for my birthday last year. I'm probably not getting anything for my birthday this year, <laughs> but as long as he keeps loving me, that's my greatest gifts. Um, Cause I'm like, he already makes me at least one meal a day. He makes me celery juices. Like he's my gift every day. Every day is my birthday around here. Um, yeah, and it's it's fun quarantining with your soulmate. It's been a lot of fun. It's been so much fun quarantining with him. Um, yeah, I couldn't imagine a more special quarantine partner. Some of us are quarantining alone. And again, next week is this um, with a group that I work with, promoting awareness, victim empowerment, PAVE. We're, ha we're asking people, begging you on April 23rd to um, hashtag alone but not alone. Because there's a lot of people who are feeling lonely, even if they are quarantining with other people, they may be in a situation where it's not very safe. Or this could be a very, this is a very triggering time for a lot of people who are survivors of sexual assault and abuse. And, um, you, you know, so just helping them heal that. And the Dalmatian crystal was the crystal of the day. Again, it dispels negative energy. It helps if you're having a nightmare. It helps with fidelity and it helps for people to feel trust and knowing. If you know anybody who can benefit from this talk that I do every single day, I read cards. I speak straight from my heart. Sometimes it gets a little funny. Most of the time it's just a talk, but it's a takeaway from, I know what you're, what, what's in your feed. I see what you're in your feed. I've deleted it from my feed personally. I've hit decline, delete on quite a few people. <laughs> I didn't block them, but I just like, yeah, I'm going to unfollow this. I want to follow this. Isn't that great that we're armed with the opportunity to follow what it is that we want to follow and to release what it is we're ready to release? That's the gift in all of this is our choosing. We get to choose how we're going to show up on this planet and we no longer have to accept things that doesn't feel good. Like if it's that aunt that you're like, oh my God, if she posts one more thing about that, I can't unfollow. You don't have to delete her. Just unfollow her. That's like we're up. That's options, guys. You get to choose what's in front of your um, what's what's in your awareness. You get to choose what you get to see or not. How about that? I hope that you tap into me um, more often and, and refer all your friends. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's Shannon Bobo. This is my 17th show out of 30 that I'm doing for sure. And then I have no idea what that's going to look like. But I trust and love and know like no kidding that um, all is well and all will continue to be well. I look forward to seeing you guys here tomorrow. Same time, I'll be at the same place with the same background, new card deck, new question, and new crystal. So I love and light, peace and coconut grease. I've been Shannon Bobo, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'll see you guys tomorrow. And then, um, yeah, so thank you guys so much for being on here. Love and light, bye for now. <laughs>